Hello, this is Gabba for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! Podcast. I'm Bragg, I'm here with Ben. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh, how was my week in Yu-Gi-Oh? I just played the Tuesday this week. Um, so what? What happened? Oh, I came last. Oh! <laughs> like, dead last, dead last. By design or by just chance? Well, I played Ojamas, so... By design. Yeah. It went really well in the first round, I'm like... Had a bit of back and forth, and then like eventually just lost. Yeah. And then I bricked mercilessly for the rest of the night. I was like, "Hmm, this is fantastic." Like at one point, I, I think at one point my hand going second was like, I had like dust star talents. So I was like, "These two cards are great." And then it was like two Ojama pieces, two ABC pieces, and I was like, ah. "This is not great. This is activate my dust star, set C and pass." Um, I love that deck like, as well. That's so on theme. That's perfect. I was, I was, it was looking not terrible because I was dancing between, I think I had B and C and I was like, at one point I could have crashed with the B and gotten the A and then gotten a, at least two buster and I was like, ah, oh, like I won't do that because it leaves me open on the counter swing and then my opponent realized if I just banish one of these, it's great. And then he made yep. SP and then banished one of the pieces and I was like, ah, well, my whole little strategy here is now out the window. Yeah, wow. SP real... Yeah. Yeah. I was like, that's not good. Like, SP nearly has to exist to counteract the the newer decks. Mm. Those old decks, though. Yeah. Oh. Still oh. get ruined by that. Uh, so, yeah, it was a, a not fantastic night at Locals. It started really well, and by the end I was like, I never want to see this again in my life. But I guess that's what punishes me for trying to play the 40 card Ojama build. Did you end up on camera? Yeah. Cool. It popped off on camera. Sweet. Game two is fantastic. Did you do a profile? No. Not with how badly the deck went. Yeah. Even as a document, even to document it, just go, by the way, if you're thinking of playing pajamas, don't do this. You're playing well, more cards in your deck. And grass. Ajamas on grass. Grass pajama. You can do that in. Can you do that in Master Duel? Is grass at one? Yeah. You can do that in Master Duel. Not in regular duel. Um, would probably recommend playing 60 cards in Master Duel if you're going to build a deck. You can play a bunch of board breakers, oh but dear god, you need to not see... Actually, Master Duel is probably where you're meant to do it because you come across, just on ladder, you'd eventually verse decks that also brick the same amount. Oh yeah, 100%. Yeah, and it's the problem with Yu-Gi-Oh! of like, some of those decks are just built to, oh hey, bad luck. But uh, it's like... Instead I was like, Tempai, I lose. Tempai, I lose. Uh, what were the other two decks? I don't know. Last round I played Harry, who was on Tempai, and he main decked the one copy of Rivalry, so I made him go first. He flipped the Rivalry, and I was like, Oh my lord. <laughs> this is terrible. My life is ruined. Because um, I think I, I, was, I had Brick and was doing the Link Spider play. Yeah. And I was like, It's okay. And then he flipped it, and I was like, This is not okay. I am now stuck on a Link Spider. I lose. <laughs> Um, yeah, Link Spot is not good. Yeah. Uh, not good. Why aren't the Ajamas level 1s? Well, no, then that ruins us so many other decks that they were used in. No, well, the... Because they're normals, you Link Spider. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but I was going to say, uh, if they're level 1s, then you'd have a better, you know... Yeah, it can do more things. You'd have more options. Yeah. Um, outside of that, been very heavy on the Rush Duel. Yep. So was Bragg. Yeah. Bragg's climbing to worlds. I'm grinding for gems. Mainly just because I want stuff that will eventually come out and I don't want to have to farm for gems then. Yeah. Finally got Harpies all together. All together. Uh, didn't have to go on ladder to do it. So they gave us the, like, in all these promotions they've been running, uh, there's been enough tickets to, you can just go and craft them. But mm. one of them, like, I was holding off going, oh, I can also craft an ultra rare with this. Burning an ultra rare ticket on a super feels pretty bad. So I've got... Three of the middle piece and one left, one right. Oh, you're 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 good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's all you need because you just the 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 middle piece puts them back if need be. Okay. And also, Mike, yeah, you cannot run any more tribute summons, or you just get even three of the middle feels rough at times. Mm. But I mean, you need to see it. You can you can almost win games with the middle piece. The Harpy Lady Sisters are split into three different uh, creatures. Which... Yes. Harpy Lady middle, Harpy Lady left, and Harpy Lady right. Yeah, and. The middle one's basically the only one that does anything, which is, eh, 
a shame. But like it could run over blue eyes. There's heaps of utility for them. So yeah. But still, there's just so many points in that thing. With 6,000 life, you can do nothing wrong, dead. Yeah, just because your opponent will draw cover man and you lose. Yeah. Like, yeah. Blue eyes. We need to ban, ban blue eyes. They've blue already eyes. put the alternate blue eyes white dragon to three. Yeah. Blue eyes shining. That, yeah, yeah. Something, uh, whatever. Yeah, it's not. Actually, it, its name's probably almost close to what that new one's called. But we'll get to that. Uh, YCS Indianapolis. Not Minneapolis. It wasn't in Minnesota. It was in Indiana. I think Indianapolis would be in Indiana. You know, I've never actually double checked that. I think there's two Indianapolises, but the, the popular one is in Indiana. But I think. Why would it be a polis of a. There's neither here nor there. Uh, Kansas City's not in Kansas. Toto. No. Yeah, Toto. Yeah. Ah, no, sorry, yeah, we can't, we can't, uh, we can't go on Cosmo Law. Uh, did Toto ever get, did the dog ever get a thing? It was the OCG support that never came. Maybe it'll be like BB-8 or something. <laughs> sure. Sure. We get the, re we get the actual farmhands as the shittier new versions. We get like the blue milk of Quickspell. Oh my god, yes. Blue milk, heal a thousand. Is this uh, how they're going to take down the Star Wars deck? They're going to have to... Or the Star Wars card game. They're going to have to redo Cosmo support. Get all of those players back. Yeah. Then there'll be a, then there'll be ones that are just war like warriors. There's no, they don't do anything psychic. And then there'll be just psychic ones. They'll go all separate. People will hate each other. It'll be great. Civil War. Cosmo Law Civil War. Show's not that bad. When coming? Uh, otherwise, uh, our, top, like, our recap of the top decks last week pretty much translated. So when it finally cut off to top 32, we ended up with 20 Snake Eyes, Melodious, Stun Runic, Snake Eyes, Salad, Voiceless Voice Tempire, one, uh, one Cash Tier of Snake Eye, one Labyrinth, one Cash Tier of Plane, one, only one Fire King Snake Eye. Which is wild to me considering how often we've seen it. Yeah. Like, it goes through its waves where all of a sudden Fire King Snake Eye is great because no one's playing into it. Yeah. And then... I think it gets countered by the same stuff that counters Tempai, which I think is rough. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Look, I, it's going to, like, the, if they start hitting Snake Eye stuff, I see people just going, oh, we'll just go back to Fire King. Mm. But seeing Fire King, I thought it would just be so cheap that people would just be throwing it in no matter what, but like what they're doing over here, because pretty much all of our Oceanic tournaments have had one deck of them. You can also go and get the starter decks for, like, half price at Target. It's fantastic. Like, eight bucks. Great. Imperm's in that, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, My God, how far we've come. Yes, you can but go to Target and get cheap Imperms. And Snake Eye, of course, took it out. Uh, we've got Italian Nationals on in the background right now. Rescue Ace is getting bodied. It's around 11. Yeah, so that top cut will come to eventually. Step. I'm going to imagine there's... Oh no, this is actually 3 in the morning, we're watching a replay. So I noticed before this game started that they have not been featuring much Snake Eyes at all from when I've watched. At least the games I've skipped to have not featured Snake Eyes. And uh, Marcello Barberi, right before this match, was like, we've got two more decks that aren't Snake Eyes, it's showing beautiful diversity in the meta. It's like, I think they're just making a point of being like, no Snake Eyes here. No, no issues, no issues. Nope. Snake, Eyes is, Snake Eyes is good, but it's not... It's it's not oppressive in tier zero, which, despite representation showing otherwise, I'm inclined to believe. Like I want, if everyone in the room was playing, not everyone, if fifty percent of the players that were playing Snake Eye were playing Tempai, do you think that would skew the top results? I think that people know how to play against Tempai now, so Tempai is a wash deck. Yeah, and still got more to come, so. Like, in, in my case, like I'm not playing Tempai because I'm going to play Tempai later because I'll play new, Snake Eyes now. New Tempai card. Yeah. Mm. Don't I don't have new Tempai card, so they won't hit Tempai. I play Snake Eyes now. I'm still weighing up as to whether or not I play Snake Eyes or I play Tempai. Or I don't play them because I don't actually go to locals. Well, now I don't go to locals. You've looked at locals. Yeah, I've been in the room. Mm. Won't do it though. Just you'd rather go play Star Wars. It's because we need more Cosmo cards. Yeah. I tell you what, the Star Wars card game is kinda like Cosmo. In that it shouldn't exist. Nah, 
Cosmo is like literally. Why the did they do it in Lorcana? Kind of like this. Disney is insane. Hmm. Like especially the, the artwork. A quick aside: the, the artworks they have in Star Wars Unlimited is putrid at times and very much on par with Lorcana. A hundred percent could be all the same game. Yeah, they're crazy. I've. I've watched Leo and Tom open Lorcana cards and they're like, oh, I pulled this, it's shiny, it's worth money. And I'm like, that is an atrocious card art. Apparently scalable as well. Look, <laughs> uh, like, I've played Weiss, so like, I know what shitty card arts can be. No, oh, I yeah. am. But it's not much better on Lorcana. Like, a lot of those cards are just, like, cut placed from a Blu-ray. Oh, yeah. Which, I mean, I don't mind because that art quality is that, it was just by definition high quality because, you know, mm. it was film. So that's okay. But when it's, when it's like crappy reimagined ones, like they just quickly run it through, which I'm sure AI is doing some of this. Oh, probably. Probably. Why don't we see our first AI Yu Gi Oh card? I, w I wonder if we've already seen it. Like, wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. Yeah. Like, they don't publicly declare who the artists are of cards. Like, in on Magic the Gathering cards, it has the artist's name in the bottom corner. Yeah. And Magic is big, no AI art. Someone tried it, yeah? Wizards of the Coast tried it. Oh! A, they did, like, a fucking press thing for, like, oh, here's an unveiling of these other cards. And, like, the background they used to unveil the cards was AI art. Yeah, yeah. And they, they hard were like, it's not AI art. We said we would never use it. And then people were like, but these are five things here that prove this is AI art. And they're like, yeah. sorry, the artist we commissioned for this used AI art. Our bad. And the artist was like, I told you guys I was going to use this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and the artist is ChatGPT. <laughs> all matter, all matter of AI. Ugh. Its recreation of some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff isn't that bad. I'll give it that. I'm a wizard with Facebook AI. I can make Facebook AI draw anything, even if it doesn't want to. Yeah, I could be quite persuasive. <laughs> yes. It tells me that things can't be drawn, and next thing you know, there's a uh, oh, dramatic Ace, play. Yeah. Rescue Ace, just one game, game two. Yeah. Well, I will not tell you what I had AI art design. <laughs> ah, there was a, the awkward look to the camera for our audio listeners. Sorry last week. We got a bit too uh, visual heavy with our looks. Trust me, there was another look there. Yes. We move on to the news. Firstly, in TCG news. Uh, Rage of the Abyss, is that what it was called in OCG's pack? Yes. Yeah. yeah it finally got its product page uploaded. Uh, just shouting out Shark Drake. It's like October release, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. October 11. Uh, the more this set gets announced in the OCG, the less I'm keen for this. I really hoped that they would do Mermail or Atlantean. It doesn't seem like we're getting anything on that line. Yeah, we're just getting monsters inspired by Big Jaws. Mm. I, I, whoever wrote this, maybe AI, <laughs> whoever wrote the, the blurb for the press release for Rage of the Abyss, why are we shouting out Big Jaws? Uh, I guess it was a fact, I guess Shark used it a little bit in the anime. What if Jerome writes all of those? Well, Jerome, fix your tie. That yellow tie is not it, man. I respect, I respect trying. I respect the black shirt, yellow tie, but nah. And not every time. Nah. And... I'll steer hard into it and go the yellow blazer that matches. Uh, they confirmed that there'll be a second wave of world premiere theme debuting in Infinite Forbidden. No idea what the hell that's going to be. Oh yeah, true. I was like, wait, what is that? So yeah, we're getting... No more Ashen. Yeah, damn, that's... Until we get that one more card from the OCG. That better be a quick effect monster. Um, our Ashen thumbnail, you see, last, the podcast where we were shitting on it did quite well. Mm. But yet people no like Ashen... Ashen. But, well, yeah, people, I mean, people were curious about Ashen. I don't think they like it because no one rushed, ru rushed to defend it. No one rushed to defend it. Good. They were too busy. I'm, I'm I'm one of my yeah, one of my proudest things we put out uh, we put out clickbait and we don't get any negative responses. Just a couple agreeing. And people showed up and they were like, yeah, 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 that, <laughs> that's all right. 
And October 2024 will still feature 25, 20, sorry, 25th Quartzy Rares. Still getting Quartzies. When will we stop? Nobody knows. 30. And we're going to get them for the next five years. Yeah. It's just so many, man. Uh, that was about it for TCG. Uh, moving on to the OCG. Uh, news just out today. A new Blue Eyes card. Finally, us Blue Eyes yeah. duelists get our support. Oh, uh, we'll get to the Blue Eyes Dark duelists. Dark Magician's had too much this year. Um, yeah, so there was a retrain Dark Magician in the new thing too, yes. yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, where there's one, there must always be another. Blue Eyes Heart Dweller is a name we will be calling it via our own translator. Shout out, George. Uh, I thought Bragg was going to point to himself. <laughs> Oh god, I couldn't, I, the, look, the initial translation brought a lot of hentai. Ah. Oh, so I, I don't know what, don't know what that means. Uh, you're going to use the first effect once per turn, you're going to use the third effect once per jewel, and only after you activate Millennium Key. Uh, okay, sure, okay. First effect, you can discard this card and add one Millennium Key from your deck to your hand. What's Millennium Key? Uh, we talked about it last week. Oh, Unk, Unk. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, Millennium Unk and Key are interchangeable. Yes. Uh, Not really. It, it's effectively going to be like the Kyber version of the Shining Sarcophagus? Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, possession of this card cannot switch. Oh, no. Which... Got change of hearted. Yeah. Snatch deal? I someone Stop. a comment somewhere going, Oh yeah, just like how Kaiba like couldn't take it from thingy is like, well, I mean, Yugi's grandpa just straight out stole it from Rebecca's grandfather. Yeah. Grandpa's a you criminal. Wouldn't? Yeah. No better than Duke Jones. Justice Jibble. for Rebecca. Yeah. She... <laughs> and her bear. Uh, if, and the last effect that is the once per jewel effect. If your opponent normal special summons a monster whose level is eight or higher, and and or with three thousand more attack, while this card's in the graveyard, you can send that monster to the graveyard. And if you do special summon this card, I said Duke Devlin, and now I just want to play Dungeon Tice Monsters. Sorry, I tuned out. You know, where is Dun? We do this like monthly now. Yeah, we should the, just the... spend the money and buy one. Oh, I want to make it again. Okay, we can three we'll D print it. We can find. We could. We could. Oh, we will. We're gonna do we'll, 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 we'll. Produce more and then stop us. Please, please, please I, do yeah, that. I beg you. Surely they will. It, come on, you don't think five years down the track, all the all revenue streams are dried? Time for dungeon dice monsters. Just, I, I don't remember it doing fantastically well originally. Oh God, no! It, yeah. it'll purely just be going. Oh, you've got more of a base now. It's been on Netflix for so many years i'm sure you could get a couple more off shells like i really enjoy dungeon dice monsters however no those have you seen how much those booster packs go for mm -hmm. that's why i don't want yeah. to do it <laughs> it's hilariously expensive but there's uh, relinquishing thousand eyes in it so yeah slow me out uh this seemingly is okay for the millennium stuff but that millennium monk didn't really do what we wanted so that's not the one i wanted if it was adding any millennium card oh sign me up but i'm gonna add i don't know millenniumize restrict from your trick yeah because millennium arc still needs your five forbidden ones oh so to then do the rest of that bullshit so you're just adding basically i can't run it in the rank six turbo build of millennium stuff damn justice for senjin didn't senjin yeah, um... Saga the Thunder. And also, people that are mad about it not being, like, like actual Blue Eyes stuff, there's a Blue Eyes deck coming. Shut up. You also have support. Remember, it won a Worlds. Yeah. You're it's more than Dark Magician ever got. Yeah. They were like, here's a bunch of really good spell cards to support Blue Eyes. And here's a trap for Yugi's deck. Yeah. Did you even make it to Worlds? No. So, Dark Magician's best monster just didn't even... Yep. Yep. Yeah. Now nah, they can... Well, Red, Red Eyes will win Worlds before Dark Magician does. 
Well, I think Dragoon's banned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the OCG. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I think it was like, it was only after like nine months or so, right? Oh, no, I feel like they kept playing it. Maybe it was because of the ban, uh, band. No, it was out before... It was out before COVID, so it should have been around no, for no. at least one world. So, no, no, so we got it, they got it in like the December, and but, then we didn't get it until the Megatins in August. Yeah, 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 it took forever for us, yeah, I remember but that. but like worlds that happened before the Megatin release. Uh, yeah. And then it got banned in the OCG, and thus it was never played at worlds. That'll do it. Also, COVID. Yeah. Yeah, like kind of. That's what, but I thought it was out before COVID, but... Was it? Um, Comment down not. below. We're not going to check this. Comment down below or in the Discord whether or not Dragoon came out before COVID. Loza, tell us when was uh, Red Eye's Dragoon yeah, it was conceived? I don't know, man. No, it was in the 2020 Megatins, or which means it came out for the OCG before COVID. Yeah. I would have said... Well, I mean, no matter what, it wouldn't be at Worlds because you're right, it was in that 2020 Megatin, so it couldn't possibly be in Worlds. Yeah. But it would have been winning... It, I remember it was just winning heaps over there, and that's why, you know, they kicked it to the curb. Probably could have. Probably would have. Did Japan, it? Japan no. Japan continued having locals and events for a while, didn't they? Because they did the hard, like, borders are shut, but it doesn't exist in our country. Oh, the WA approach. Yes. Damn you... How the dare other one. You. Damn you, not Dan Andrews. The other one. Mark? I still remember peak COVID and like Western Australia had like closed off all of its borders and they would just had like news reporters in nightclubs and they were like, we have zero COVID cases, so we're at the nightclub. And it's like, oh, okay. I'm going to like, well, make some ramen. If if one person sneaks, yeah, well, that's not so bad. Oh, no, round, that ended and I don't know who won. I'm going to assume it was Tempai given that it's already over. That makes sense. Actually, that is irritating. Winner in 40 seconds. We'll find out. We'll uh, find out. More OCG news. World Premier Pack. Did we talk about this? I think we uh, it was announced at least, but they're getting another Verse Dragon. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Eh. People are like, oh, they're reprinting it already. I'm like, I don't, I, it, it's a vanilla. Yeah. And like, also, it's the I English version. there ever reprinting this because I just don't think it was necessary in the slightest it was, it was, Minerva was a super originally yeah. like it's not an English reprint like there's two different it's two different cards I don't think it will affect the market as much especially <laughs> considering it is a vanilla and also you know you can't use Japanese cards I did that right before we started now I've done it again that's that's wet the power of Gatorade Except it's water. Yes, hey, it's very <laughs> clear Gatorade. Or is it mm. clear berry flavor? No, it's, it's called tap water. The best water. Well, don't come at me. Don't come at me. And last OCG bit of news. Actually, that might be generous. Yeah. Magistus gets a fusion monster. Oh, um, yeah. That little... Jake would love to have talked about that fusion monster. Uh, he made sure to bring it up in the chat. He's like... We you guys, probably defer to next week. Tune in to next week's this. episode if you want to hear us talk about Magistus. It's a great super poly target, I think. Um, also, in my contact views, I don't know. I'll ask Jack next week. And then lastly, Break the Seal. Uh, trap card for Exodia. Uh, you can place... Uh, it is continuous trap. Place one, Break the Seal. So itself from deck or graveyard. Face up on the field. Send two face up Break the Seal cards you control, including this card. Add one forbidden one monster from your deck to your hand. Oh, yeah. And second effect, if it's destroyed, you can reveal up to five Forbidden One monsters in your hand, return equal number of cards your opponent controls to the hand. So, it they just made it so it was slightly fairer, even though it's a trap card, so it's already slow. They were like, guys, this search is a piece of Exodia, but it can be your good. This would have been great in the, the Edison old build of Exodia. Yeah. Oh. Speaking of Edison, yes. There's, there's, uh, to make a data reference of uh, little birdies talking on you know Twitter, uh, Edison will be the next jewel, jewel trial on Master Jewel. I am excited for this. Yeah. I like the retro dual trials. I will play the shit out of it. Like, it, like if it's 
it is based on the OCG's version, so I'm not sure if there's only going to be if there's going to be differences. There were a couple of differences with our, our with Goat, but hey, better than nothing. Yeah, we take send it. Send it, send it, send it. We take it. Hopefully, they just alternate between the two and give it to us monthly. It's been like two months since, right? Uh, quarterly, I'll take. I think it's been a little longer than two months. It was last. Oh no, months. yeah, hundred, yeah, yeah. And this one's about to expire, and I still haven't done it now. Yeah. Hopefully it's here in time for the dual pass for you. Oh yeah, true. Then you just then I'll just finish the dual pass playing Edison, and then do the next dual pass on it, if it stays around that long. Yes, maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully. <coughs> oh, and that's about it for the news. And yeah, there's a lot. With no Jake, we should have done a full rush duels news section. Look, I did have a rush duel thing up of a thunder giant. Yeah, Elemental Hero Thunder Giant will be in, yes. the, new, in the new starter deck. Hmm. That's actually kind of huge. <laughs> Thunder Giant Thunder Giant was a really good card. Yeah. Well, Maybe by, by Elemental Hero 2008 standards. Goat format so. legal Thunder Giant. Yeah. yeah, like sure. And also you won't be completely negging to make this. So unlike old Thunder Giant where it was kind of rough. Yeah. Unless, if you, unless if you set up with Miracle Fusion. Miracle Fusion came come out for a while, didn't it? That was like 2007? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't in the GOAT version. Yeah. Or else, oh yeah, if, God, if that was in GOAT, that would be Fusion cooked. Uh, I would actually kind of like to see that Flame Wingman versus Thousand Eyes. Make it? No, don't make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Flame Wingman is legal. It's just hard to make. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you're spending a million cards on it. Yeah. I got a poly this shit? Yeah. Yeah. You have to poly this, but you drew five cards. Yeah, you draw five cards every turn. Who cares? Uh, and yeah, it's the exact same effect. I mean, surely they're going to give Miracle Fusion in Rush Duel. Oh, God, they'll be... Well, because the Seven Roads does that, yeah? Seven Roads shuffles back. Same. Yeah. <laughs> Is it banished? Uh, Seven Roads also got semi-limited because it was too good. Soon we'll get in Rush Duels. Oh my god, it's going to be so expensive. I need to finish my Rush Duels deck. Cause oh yeah, and I'm missing heaps of staples because I'm, like, I'm not spending that money on this. My cards got banned. <laughs> I spent 7 bucks on Cybertech Alligator. Ooh. And 17 packs. Which I got nothing from. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh... The getting nothing from the packs is the thing that hurts the most. If they gave me like 2 Ultra Rares in that pool, I better. would... Any shitty Ultra Rares, especially if I could disenchant them, I'll be like, okay. Instead, and no. this is just like a kick to the nuts. Yes. It's so bad. Like, tune in for when we get Seven Roads Fusion in Rush Duels. Ultra rare. Two copies per box. It won't, it won't be, be, be one box. copy per box. Yeah, it won't be a mini box either. And it'll probably come in semi-limited for it three. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. That then does bring us to our questions? Yes. Yes, of course. It is question time. Uh, of course, you can leave your questions down in the Discord. In the description below, uh, you can ask us anything. Anything. Yeah, literally anything. Like, uh, which Bob the Builder character is sexier? That's it's a question the, I've heard this week. The tractor. I don't know what. Yeah, I have no idea what. Like, I don't know what their names are. Or is no, it's the one that mixes cement. Yeah. No, wait. Maybe. Yeah. As long as you don't choose scoop, that'll make you a nonce. <laughs> Okay, uh, first question today uh, comes from Crobat5, that's right, Crobat V. Um, if you could give one deck some support that makes it meta-relevant, which one would you pick and what support would you give? Oh, well, I, I feel bad saying scraps as always, but as, it is meta-relevant. As we've gone on uh, from today's podcast on theme, Cosmo yeah. support. We need Cosmo support, definitely. Yeah. It needs to be Toto. Um, I don't know what the support does. Is it another pilot? Maybe a giant trunade, another giant trunade retrain. Toto. Searches it. It summons a Cosmo from deck and then destroys one card you control. So pay 500 life. Pay 1,000 life. Fuck. You, you can pay a lot. Summon a Cosmo from deck and then destroy one card you control. Yeah. I'll be up for that. Give us Toto Konami. Give us Toto. What's your scrap support doing? 
I just need like mind reader that you can use in main phase one basically. Destroy a scrap on field special summoner from bin. Like that's like, yeah. that would be Oh. I have a nerf for the, the Cosmo card to make it more realistic. It has to summon the monster in defense position. Oh, of course. Yeah. Of course, yeah. Well, let's not go crazy. Yeah. We can't give them just full access to the Bungle. OTK. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, I love that OTK. Um, what, like, even just coming up with non meta decks that I want to see support for that isn't Big Jaws. But Big Jaws is big, and it's got Jaws. You can't True. not support that. Could give um, Dark Rebellion some more love. Poor Phantom Knights. They got support. Yeah, they did. It was shit. They got... Oh, wait. It was... <laughs> God. That, um... Oh, Phantom Knight yeah. 3 star. The one that does everything. Mills it. Discard Mill. Thingy thingy. Fogblade? No. The other one? Fogblade's a great card. Yeah, hold on. Don't give Phantom Knights anything. In the gate that summons from Grave. Who was thinking of that? Yeah, give them the blue eyes that once per jewel <laughs> negate. Summon back. Ooh. Um, next question comes from Crowbat5 again. Um, if you have one, what is your favorite Yu Gi Oh anime deck? Mine is Crow's Blackwings. Oh, tell you what, Crow's Blackwings is good. I, I, I would like to see just, you know, 50 individual like, Highlander Blackwings. Just off you go. You're playing Fane, everything. Ooh. Um, what's mine? Uh, uh, it's Duke Devlin's Gradius deck. I always, forget he's, I always forget he was the Gradius gamer. <coughs> Surprised you weren't going to say Ajama. Nah, Gradius. I mean, Ajama will just keep getting support just because it's a meme. I used to love Gradius back in the day. And I'm talking like back in the day when it was just Gradius. Before we got the rest of the stuff. What was the? Because it had a um, it had a union monster to go with it, yeah. Mm. And then it, it bumped it up, and then you just had to live it and remove it past that point. Yeah. They got oh. my quick spell, I think, early days. All those ships oh. deserve support. Um, Bastions. Um, <laughs> I think they. I mean, I'm sure there was one or two cards. Uh, the Water Dragon, the H2 bonding H2O. Mm. I would like to see Chemistry all that. Dragons. Yeah, I would like to see all that reworked with maybe X. Like, just do it with Xes and just go. Oh. You overlay them, and then that creates mm. them. Yeah. Synchros, maybe a link. Like, Give them everything. Yeah, like do the <laughs> do the chemistry deck. Yeah, mm. we need to cook. Um, last question comes to us from Crowbat Five again. No, oh. other people need to leave questions, man. This man's, man's carrying this section. Um, turbo duel. If turbo dueling existed now, which one of you three would be the best choice? To do a turbo duel. Well, I mean, it's not me. I I won't speed. Well, <laughs> but it's also on a bike, and that's my problem. I don't like going fast on a motorcycle. I mean, I'm pretty I'm pretty average at bikes. Mm. I've, I've fell off, fallen off a few, so yeah, I probably would whiff. Jake gives me the the feeling of he want he would you know want to feel alive. Just give it to Jake with his heart and yep. hyperdrive. Give him the zooms. I wish we kind of got a gimmick turbo jewel deck. Like with the um, entertainment deck, uh, like with whatever the gimmick was in Arc 5. The actual gimmick, not pendulums. The the random cards they run for. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I kind of wish yeah. they entertained I those. I hate that so much. Yeah, but it's in the show. We're being advertised that. Surely we can just go, oh, here's a, here's a little format that you can try. He's fucking running around locals, like, ripping cards off walls. And oh, things. I should just be like, oh, it's between turns, roll or die. Draw that many whatever cards. Mm, yeah. Or well, you just draw Hate one it. off the top of, it, of another deck. It seemed more logical than skills. Or you put the dual table in the middle of a parkour course, and then you just Oh my god, <laughs> he's doing... Yeah. Do the full flips and stuff, but you got to make it entertaining, though. Ladies and gentlemen, we can get cancelled for that now. I also uh, hate like the, when they put the rush duel stuff in duel links. The few times that I played that, I was like, "Fuck, I hate this so much." I like rush duels. 
Vroom, 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 vroom. No, I mean like the Turbo Duel, sorry. Oh, yeah. oh wait, I, I mean, I didn't play that world, ah, so. It existed, no, I hate this. <laughs> How didn't I play that world? Because it definitely came back for, well, no, I did. I played, I played Trudge a bunch. Hmm. Hmm. Weird. It was frustrating. Um, yeah, so Jake's probably winning the Turbo Duel, but, oh, oh God, that would be so funny of like, oh, shit. I need to activate a spell card. <coughs> Alright, time to fang it. <laughs> or just play, just go traps. Mm. Oh, actually, yeah, Jake would hate turbo formats because it'd just be like, oh, I can't be, I'm not going fast, I'm just going to play skill drain. <laughs> then again. They can be only one. Just putting along in like your little fucking two stroke motorcycle. Just like, I activate. Anti spell fragrance. Never seen the movie. Huh? Highland though. Oh. They can be only one? Yeah. Just don't watch the second. Because it's, um. It's got, um. Sean Connery? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the other guy who was famous for a point in time and then did Highlander 2 and stopped being famous. You know, whoever pitched Highlander 2 probably has some thinking to do. Oh, I'm sure. The first one made, probably made great money. And they were like... Yeah, but the comms thing... <laughs> I don't think he... Isn't there more of, it, more of them at the end? Or does, is he the only one left? Well, I haven't end? seen I, it. I don't know. I don't remember how it ends. I just Tell us in the comments if you watch Highlander. <laughs> stabbing and lightning. But, that sounds about right. But that will wrap us up for this week's podcast. Yeah. Um, if you have any shitty... Titan and not shitty, but shitty 90s movies, 90s movies, 80s movies... 60s movies. Leave your recommendations in the Discord, of course, down below. And uh, until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.